So I just, at this point, I just wanted to share a bit more of my own practices with you, what I'm actually doing in the daily life. Because when I started researching about all of these fields, that's years back, that's already like, I think I've picked up my first book like six years back or something. And since, since then it's been a ride and it's been such an inspirational and powerful ride. And I am so glad I picked up that first book. <laughs> um, so things that I do in my daily life, this is very concrete now, but hey, I want to share that value, right? <laughs> um, when I talk to someone and I want to say something appreciative, for example, um, then I never say, hey, I really like that today, but... Because this but is always negating everything that came before the but. So what I really started consciously paying attention to for years now is not phrasing sentences like that. Because, it's, because it just gives the other person a very negative feeling. And so if I want to criticize something, I'll say that, but I'll say that in a very respective, appreciative way, and I would never connect it with another sentence. And you can still do in business, we know this term of the feedback sandwich, where you first give something positive, then negative, then positive. You can still do that, but just don't intersect it in one sentence because it's always it's always going to negate what came before the but and what i also do is i communicate my respect very aware so i would so many times say to someone hey i agree with you on that i respect you so much for saying that i appreciate you so much on that level and i appreciate you so much for what you've done just to show that person the energy that I want to give that person. And so that all goes together with energy management, which is such a bigger field and which I would love to dive in deep with you. But let's not do that in this scope because that's going to get too much. But uh, anytime, you know where to find me. Um, what I also do is uh, years back, I stopped saying I'm sorry for every single silly thing. Because what it always does is language, neurolinguistic programming, you say something in a language and it does something to your mind. And so when you say I'm sorry, it puts you into a victim mode and it makes you feel very naggy and uncomfortable for something that you shouldn't be feeling like this about. And so what I always do now is I say thank you instead of I'm sorry. So I'll say I'm sorry, definitely. I'll say I'm sorry if I messed up. Definitely. But I won't say I'm sorry anymore if I'm two minutes too late. I'll just say thank you so much for waiting. I appreciate you so much for being so flexible about this. That's what I say. And instantly you've got a more positive mood for yourself, for the entire situation. So there's, you can already see the effect of that, right? <laughs> um, what I completely limited from my vocabulary is saying I'm failing. The, the word failing does not exist in my vocabulary. So recently I actually had that conversation where someone asked me, so in the process of founding the business, what's your plan B if that plan fails? And I honestly literally said, um, I'll have to tell you the word fail does not exist in my vocabulary. Um, if something happens that is not within my power and I think 80% is not within my power, what happens with me and my business and my life, um, I'm just gonna readjust. But that's in my mind associated as not failing. And so you'll see the effect of that as well, right? And so that's just so important. And you can do that in so many situations. Another example is um, we're talking about time. How often have you heard the term, I don't have time? Or you say to yourself, oh, I don't have time for that. No, I don't have time for that right now. Here's a little trick. What next time that happens, you say to yourself, it's not a priority to me. And then see how you feel about that. And then you can actually maybe readjust some things because we just need to trick our mind like that. We just need to work with our mind in that way that we really, really are seeing what is important to us and that we're not victims of our mind. It's our control. We need to take the control back. So do that instantly. Maybe try some of these things out. I hope you like them. I hope um, they'll work for you too, but I am 100% certain they will because this is such a powerful and effective thing.